Good morning, Van Studios viewers. I'm Joan Vincent with your breaking sports update. Newcastle's rising star, Brandon Vicentini, recently promoted to the first team, has received a staggering $200 million offer from top clubs, including Liverpool, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, Chelsea, and Manchester City. The talented young Italian has hinted at addressing these rumors in his upcoming press conference today. Stay tuned for more updates. This is Joan Vincent reporting for Vance Studio Sports News. Thank you. feeling of match day and the desire to lose yourself in the moment that's what today is all about a meeting of two talented sides ready to go at it in front of a capacity crowd not to mention the eyes of the wider football world hello and welcome to a day that needs a bit of cheering up and what better way than with the game we're about to see i'm guy mowbray and i'm joined by this is the italy team sheet Gianluigi Donnarumma is in goal. Lorenzo Insigne starts with Domenico Berardi out wide and leading the attack is Ciro Immobile. See it on my face, I made up my mind. Not another day, you're on borrowed time. Let me get away, yeah I'm running, yeah I'm running. So love me or leave me, I'm standing alone. Can't shake a feeling that lives in my bones. Oh, lovely skill to beat his marker. What a chance! They might get another go here. Immobile! And it's in to put them in front. Well, that was seen all the way, and the save is made. And the final whistle wraps up a match that's gone the way of the visitors. Yeah, it was a good result and performance. I thought they always looked dangerous going forward. They kept the ball well in midfield, and I'm sure the manager will be happy. Let me get away. It's over now. It's over now. Now it's for real. The tactics and squad strengths have all been analysed by committed fans and neutral observers. A confrontation that all football lovers will revel in, knowing that we might be about to witness a simply unmissable occasion. Welcome to another exciting game brought to you by EA TV. I'm Guy Mowbray, joined by former England striker Sue Smith on the commentary gantry. And hopefully we've got some goals and drama on the way. It's Italy and they face the Netherlands. 
Yeah, cheers, Guy. Well, it's so loud in here, isn't it? The fans are really up for this one, and I'm sure the managers will be reminding them, remember what you need to focus on and block out all of that noise. Moving it forward with purpose, something on, maybe. Oh, against the bar. Politano. And there's the first goal of the match. Deadlock broken. Well, here we can see it again, and it's a lovely technique just to get that bend and spin on the ball. The keeper can do nothing about it, to be honest. So it's 1-0 as the ball gets rolling again. There's a sense of real urgency to this attack. Nicely sets it up. And maybe that's a misconnection with the ball. It's well, well wide. Pushing forward with options available now. Great chance here. And the keeper's done really well to keep that out. He's done well to get past his marker. This is really nice. Another goal now would mean real control. He's certainly had a decent game so far, or maybe better than that. I think it's fair to say he hasn't disappointed. Well, it was certainly a good 45 minutes. Obviously got the goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully see a little bit more of that in the second half. And there's the restart. Off we go again. Depay. And the hard work pays off. They won the ball. A chance to get something going here. Oh, they were getting... Oh, a great chance. And still danger here. Well, that's an own goal. They'll take it, of course, whoever gets the end credit. Well, here's the replay, and it's a definite own goal. They'll be frustrated to concede like that. Quite unfortunate, really. Two nil then, as we get started again. Looks a good ball. And the shot thwarted. Fired to the edge of the box. Oh, worth a shot. And good work from the keeper to get across and deal with the danger. And the corner comes to nothing. Locatelli. Some good. Well, I thought they deserved to win the game, didn't they? They played some really nice stuff. I thought they dominated the midfield area, and the work rate was excellent. It's a great result, that.
Now it is for real. The tactics and squad strengths have been analysed by committed fans and neutral observers to the nth degree. A confrontation that all football lovers will revel in, knowing that we might be about to witness a simply unmissable occasion. Who will come out on top? The northeast of England, we're here at St James's Park. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this. If a team wins more of those battles, we'll win the game. And they need to get tighter here. And here's the Newcastle formation. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to try to pose problems for the opposition. Can he put them in front? Well, offside here. Such a pity for them. Chance was on. Rather well in this campaign. Best defence in the league. Wonderful chance. A mischievous effort. Well, full credit to him. He had the audacity to try it. Well, that... well it looks like there's been a goal at the Etihad. Over to Alex for the details. It's a goal from Manchester City. After a well-worked move, he got himself on the end of a cross with a beautiful header. They've scored the opener here with 19 minutes on the clock. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Beautifully weighted ball. Might go ahead. Oh my word, there's excellent timing for you. What a challenge. Well, that could prove to be a massive moment in the game. Just when it looked as though Chelsea would take the lead, the goalkeeper has produced a wonderful... Just what they wanted. A win last time out against Bournemouth. How do you anticipate it going this time, Stuart? Well, that was a really good result. To go away and win... Firing it in. Wonderful block. He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Well, as you can see, he gets everything right here. What a skillful volley that is. So underway again here, one nil the score. And making the move to the inside. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. And over comes the corner. Well, the first half story has been written. Half time here at St James's Park. So underway again. Chelsea with the lead, but absolutely no room for complacency. Has eyes for goal. Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. On a corner to Chelsea as they look to press home their advantage here. They favoured a short one here. Anthony Gordon. Pressure applied. Can they make something of it? Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. A lot to look forward to on the Champions League group stage front here on EA TV Live. 
It's Newcastle United versus Paris Saint-Germain. That looks a really entertaining. And up for grabs off the keeper. In it goes! At the second time of asking. And the keeper feels hung out to dry. Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. So a half an hour remaining. Excellent vision. Chilwell. And return to Sterling. In position. And a goal! In the lead again. Fully deserved. Well, they love him and he loves them. It's great scenes here. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1, the current state of affairs. Isaac. And there's been a change to the scoreline in the City game. Alex Scott has the news. It's his second goal for Manchester City. Could be. Just can't get it past him. 2-1. Good idea. Not going to get away with that because it's offside here and he shouldn't be offside there he's gone how can they turn one of these attacks into a goal well let's see about the cross target can he find the net great defending and the play stop they will make the change now well this late corner could represent their last chance to equalise Happy to take on the shot. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. So the final whistle and no cause for celebration in the Magpies camp. What did you make of how it went? Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. on a fitting stage that's what we're talking about a match of colossal importance and one that has captured the imagination of anyone with an interest in this great game of football now we're truly ready for what will be a showdown from the Parc des Princes here in the French capital Paris the venue for tonight's action my name is Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson and we're certainly in the mood for Champions League group stage action. It's Paris Saint-Germain up against Newcastle United. Well, thanks, Derek. It's quite simple. If Newcastle play at their best today, they should go through to the knockout stages. They've been quite brilliant at times in this group. So they starting 11 for Newcastle United. Well, they're also playing with two wingers, which should mean an exciting... Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. Well, as we've already made note of, here is the scenario for the visitors on this occasion. Stuart, can they secure their place in the knockout stages? Well, all they have to do here is worry about themselves. Play well, get a good win, and then look at the result in the other fixture. And he's hit it with authority! Well, Opportunity to deliver the cross. Terrific block there. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. Fired over by Usman Dembele. 
Good clearance. Showing good width. Can he put them in front? But it was a wonderful chance. But the goalkeeper... Time whistle. And here's the main story. As things stand, they're not in position to move on to the knockout stages. Well, I don't think they need to panic just yet. But they do need to play... Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Could be! And a goal! Now they've broken through! 1-0 here! Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. nil then Soler Fabian to the last 30 minutes now Isaac and it's with Isaac oh surely oh a chance to put them at an even better position well we're inside the final 15 minutes Vicentini Harvey Barnes Oh, in with a chance Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here Another goal And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes Well, here it is again And credit to the goal scorer But you have to ask questions of the keeper He's got to have that near post cover to me No wonder he's frustrated with himself team haven't been good enough in this game but how does he change it so underway once more 2-0 the lead here making progress he fancies it and the goalkeeper's touch that was crucial there has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes and now both sides will make personnel switches Corner given to PSG. And there's the delivery. Oh, there it is! A lifeline in this game! And what a finale we could be in for here! Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Underway at 2 1. Tight contest here. The electronic forward delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Bruno Guimaraes. Close your eyes. And there goes the final whistle.